Well, uh, my name is uh, Julio Simbron. Thank you, Carl, for inviting me here. Um, and I will be describing a project in Fort Collins, Colorado called the Fort Collins Innovation Hub. And um, this is a property that has been secured. I purchased this property about a year and a half. It has in the order of 17,000 square feet. Uh, it's um, uh, located in the Fort Collins Industrial Zone. This is, um, a lot of this space is warehouse and office. Uh, it has a park-like setting. This is uh, a corner of the property right here. Um, and all of this is uh, land that is part of the property and is park-like. There's uh, an irrigation ditch running through it. Um, this is within two miles of Fort Collins. And um, you know, you could be considered a walking distance, except that you have to survive the many breweries and distilleries along the way. Um, and the idea is to, pr to develop this uh, land uh, by, uh, it has uh, f five existing buildings. And four of them would remain, one would be demolished, and it would be rebuilt with a different configuration. That would be this one. There's a currently long building over here. And uh, it would be a steel warehouse, office, and shop. Uh, steel would be, will keep the, the park-like setting. Um, and there would be a beer garden. And a beer garden, uh, well, it's like a beer garden, but if you say in German, it sounds a little more academic. Um, the idea is now the value of the, of the property would increase from the current uh, one and a half million to in the order of five million by improving the existing buildings um, and the infrastructure and the new building. Uh, the new building would be multi multi-story building and it would double about the square footage from 17,000 squ uh, square feet to 34,000 square foot. So the way I see this is there's uh, multiple layers. Uh, basically, uh, at the most basic uh, level, this uh, looks like a real estate transaction. Um, um, the area itself is, is getting developed quickly. Uh, the, the city of Fort Collins is, is growing a lot, and I'm going to throw some numbers about uh, how that reflects the investment. But then you have the opportunity zone investment, and uh, you know the things that uh, Carl talked about, if you invest in this with uh, capital gains, and the, the uh, money remains in the fund for a certain amount of, of time, then uh, the money, you can get that money out uh, tax-free and the gains. And um, the third layer is um, either from owner-occupied businesses or tenants that would be locating in this, in this zone. And uh, they would be using this zone uh, in a shared space uh, kind of setting. There would be, there's a lot of shared space uh, um, facilities in Loveland and Fort Collins, but uh, very few of them actually have uh, shop space. And of course, it doesn't have to be like that. Uh, some, owner or occupier could, could uh, section out a, sec a part of the building to do that, including perhaps you know, a microbrewery over here, which uh, would match nicely this beer garden on, on this side. Um, so some um, statistics about Fort Collins. You might be familiar with those if you're in, in Colorado. But uh, you know, Fort Collins has a very strong synergy with uh, the university, Go Rams. Uh, it, has a fair, uh, it has a very long list. If you go to the website of uh, honors and awards, these are just a few. It's one of the best performing cities in 2019. They use cities with highest, highest economic confidence by Yahoo and the Bloomberg Brain Index. I, I don't know exactly all the details about that, but it sounds pretty promising um, in 2017. Uh, it, the, the economy is really vibrant. And, um, of, of course, a lot of that comes from the, the college, um, the college um, taps into a lot of uh, local talent, also brings a lot of restaurants and breweries, and it has a very strong startup culture. Uh, there's already a couple of uh, innovation hubs, uh, the Rocky Mountain Innosphere and the CSU Research and Innovation Center, and both are shared space facilities that are uh, at, at capacity and, and expanding. Um, the particular so so the opportunity zone uh, the, the opportunity zone in Fort Collins is between Old Town and I-25 uh, along uh, Mulberry, um, and the property location is right around there. Um, it's uh, currently uh, not incorporated; is uh, part of the the county. Um, but if you look at the numbers. Um, of uh, vacancy rates. The industrial is about 1.2% and office is 2.3% in the city of Fort Collins. That's uh, pretty close to zero as practically uh, achievable. Um, and um, 
these are some of the numbers that the city has experienced in terms of uh, annual residential appreciation rates in the last four years. It uh, has been in the order of 9.5%. The 24-year average is 6.5%. And something that I didn't mention is that the industrial and commercial zones in Fort Collins are now fixed because the city has um, already developed this, uh, its development plan and they're not going to increase while the city continues to grow. So that makes for a comp compelling ar argument for a strong um, investment. And uh, as I said, the investment would come in, in different ways. Uh, initially tax deferring the investment, uh, the, the, the tax-free na nature of the gains after a certain period, and also from whatever businesses come in addition to the appreciation gains. So this is my contact information. There's my phone number in the slides and my email if anybody's interested. Um, and uh, I know if uh, I mentioned in the previous slide, but um, we're looking for maybe in the order of uh, five million of total investments. So, uh, those funds could be leveraged from um, uh, perhaps uh, a loan from a bank. Uh, there will have to be some split ratio to do that. So at this point, that's all I have. And if you, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to try to answer them. I, I, um, Could you repeat the question? Yes, uh, so the question is, if I am narrowing this down to a particular industry in terms of innovation, um, I, I, I don't. I, um, perhaps it makes sense, but I think uh, um, such a designation would have to be non-restrictive. Um, I am open to ideas about uh, you know, what, what it is the industry that could, be, could make, make sense for this. Uh, everybody's thought about uh, you know, um, uh, cannabis and uh, associated businesses, but I don't know if that makes sense. Um, yep. Hemp. I'm sorry. Yes, I should yeah, also mention well, that. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yes. Any Any other question? Yes. What are the existing businesses in there? Are they up and running? I mean, as the warehouse and office, but is that? Yes. Uh, they They are uh, small businesses, and they are uh, really uh, tenants. So one of them is a welder. The other one is uh, um, a day laborer agency, the, uh, there's a book binder, there's a person that fixes um, um, gasoline pumps, they're all on, their sh on a short-term basis because I want to keep uh, my options uh, open in terms of getting new tenants. Um, the property needs a fair amount of, of, um, of um, up upgrading. And the, the, the numbers that I mentioned are um, based on, on, if you take the purchase price and, and take the square, current square footage, footage, there's about $75 per square foot. And the investment would be in the order of about $150 per square foot to bring it to be uh, really up to, up to the standards of the other innovation hubs in Fort Collins. Yes? When did you take possession of the property and how, how did you um, this I, I, I financed this about a year and a half ago. And, and be, be specific, like what do you know when you say a year and a half? It was definitely after 1231-17. It was May 2018. 18. Yes. Okay. Uh, it, was there another part of the question? Did you take possession of it in a fund? Or do you have a fund that's invested in it? No, right now it's structured as a single owner. Uh, I, I was uh, lucky enough that I was able to finance this three, uh, through uh, my current business in Fort Collins. Uh, but if, uh, if, we're, if it were to move forward as an opportunity zone, it would have to be restructured because my participation as a previous owner would be maxed at 20% at, at of the um, investment, if I understand correctly. Right. Yeah. So you would, you're looking to sell 80% of the project and then finance the improvement? Yes, and I would participate in the new project with less than 20% with the capital gains from selling the property to the new ownership. That's, that's my plan. And, and do you have any other experience in, in these kinds of projects? Do you have no, I, I, no. I, I am a small business owner and entrepreneur, and uh, this is my first uh, uh, real estate investment. Yeah, thank you.